Hey guys, so I just had a couple of updates for you for July, and of course as always you are welcome to ask questions. This is the video where I post, ask me anything uh, for my Q&A for this month, so yeah, ask me anything that has not been asked before. Go check out my other Q&A answer videos to see if your question's already been answered, but if not, post it below and I will do my best to answer it this month. So as for updates, I know last month I did my whole we moved apartment tour type thing and it was a little rough because, you know, we hadn't really like unpacked yet, we didn't have any furniture. Um, I have to tell you not much has changed for July. We have a little more furniture, but the main thing that's been kind of like holding us up is not having a couch, but we are supposed to be getting one soon. Actually, by the time this video is posted, we may already have it, I'm not really sure. So hopefully soon we'll be able to get the apartment set up and lots of furniture and I'll be able to do an apartment tour for you guys. But we are super happy here, at least currently we are, and I am really enjoying being much closer to, you know, friends, closer to Louisville. I actually work in downtown Louisville, so I am super happy to be, you know, closer to work and Zach I know is happy to be closer to work because we were both driving over an hour from where we used to live so now we're like closer to the city and we have like everything we need here as far as you know friends and um there's just so much more to do here you know we're around everyone that is important to us mostly neither neither of our parents live here um, like neither sets of parents live here and most of his family actually still lives in Florida but he's closer to family and so um, it's just it's we're so much like mentally healthier and I think physically healthier just because we're happier so we are definitely doing great and I love working in Louisville um, and being you know closer to that whole um, city scene I guess you might say so yeah it's super super cool and we're we're learning to be happier. Like we were so miserable in the town that we were in before. It's almost like we're used to being like just unhappy, but um, we're, we're, we're getting used to, you know, feeling good again, so that's nice. I know I've been promising wedding updates for a while as well, and I haven't done an update video since we like announced our engagement. And that's just because there aren't really any updates to give. I know I've mentioned this before, but um, I got my dress really early on and I actually just got it back from being altered. It just had to be shortened a little bit in the front. Um, I'm not going to show my dress on YouTube because my fiance does watch my videos. Um, but like once we get married, I'll like post pictures and I might, I don't know what we're going to do as far as like if I'll do like a picture collage type video after the wedding or something. But you guys will see my dress at least on social media um once we're married but yeah for now i'm just kind of keeping that in my closet and keeping it hidden from most everyone um but yeah so i do have my dress back from being altered and my bridesmaids dresses i don't know if i've mentioned this before or not i'm going to do lularoe carly's for my bridesmaids dresses because those are super cheap bridesmaid dresses carly's are 55 dollars so i'm super happy that i get to get away with only spending like $250 on my bridesmaids dresses like that's awesome and I'm gonna do leggings um, just in case it's super chilly um, in case my bridesmaids need leggings for the wedding or if not we're probably just gonna do leggings for like the reception or whatever because I'm completely obsessed with LuLaRoe leggings and they look awesome with Carly's and I just can't resist putting together an outfit for all my bridesmaids and even if they don't wear the leggings like that's a cool outfit gift whatever and then I'm doing toms for everyone so I need to get those ordered um, all my bridesmaids will be in black toms and then I'm gonna do like um, neutral or off-white ivory toms for myself that have like lacy design kind of patterns on them um and yeah i mean that's really the only updates i have one of my closest friends is our photographer as our wedding gift so we didn't have to go out and like find a photographer um and we have actually another friend that i've met through her that's doing our cake for like ridiculously cheap and as far as catering we don't really have a plan um we're probably just gonna like rely on friends and family to bring certain things like to make food we may end up doing like a small um buffet style catering but there are so many places around here that we feel like we can even though it's like three months out we feel like we will be good on food um and if not our wedding is our wedding's at 2 p.m so the reception is probably going to be around three and most people have probably eaten lunch before the wedding and are going to have dinner after the wedding and honestly we're kind of thinking after the reception that we might just go have like an after party with like just our friends or something because my family's so conservative that we can't really like let loose and drink and stuff like that so 
Um, we'll probably, after the reception, go and have like an after reception type thing um, where we'll like eat dinner and go out with like maybe just the wedding party and like our closest friends and stuff, you know, that live around here. Um, let all the uh, relatives and friends that don't live here, let them all, you know, head home early and um, while well, it's still daylight outside, maybe, I don't know in October if it's going to still be daylight around like five or six but yeah that's our plan for that day so we're not being super I don't know I don't know the word we're frugal people like that's just us as people so we're just being very sensible about this I guess is a good word we're not throwing like an all-out party like nothing is going to change after we get married except we're going to have a piece of paper that says we're married legally like literally nothing else is going to change maybe my last name I don't know. I don't even know if I'm going to change my last name. We live together. We split finances. We have been there for each other 500% since like our first date pretty much. Like we are already married, just not legally. You know what I mean? So we're just not super concerned about it. We're not, it's going to be an important day and it's going to be special and it's going to be a celebration of our love like it should be, but it's not going to be like this ridiculously expensive party, I guess is what I'm trying to say. Um, just because that's us as people. So yeah, I don't really have a lot of updates to give because there aren't really a lot of updates. Um, for flowers, we're just going to like get silk flowers from Michaels. We actually are probably going to go do that soon once they start putting out like the fall flowers. Probably around like August. You know, after the 4th of July, they start putting out like the more fall themed silk flowers and that's what we're going to do. Um, we're hoping to have our ceremony kind of like in an arboretum garden style thing if the weather's nice. So if that's the case, then there's not going to be a lot of decorations needed for the actual ceremony, just for the reception, you know, like um, table top, you know, like centerpieces and stuff like that is really the main decorations that we're going to need. Um, and I guess if like we realize like a week or two before that the weather's going to be really bad, we'll like last minute scramble and make a nice little like altar type thing with some flowers. I don't know. I'm just not, I'm not worried about it so much. I mean, I'm excited to be married. I'm, I guess I'm excited to have a wedding just because it's hopefully going to be fun but I'm just not overly anal about the situation, as strange as that might sound to say. But yeah, so there's all the wedding updates I have. It's probably stuff you guys have all heard before because nothing's really changed. We're just very, very slowly making progress on the few things that we do need to make progress on, but most things just fell into place right at the very beginning. Like I said, we had a lot of friends and family that offered their services for either, you know, just as a wedding gift or for like a really discounted rate. So we got super lucky there. Um, but yeah, so that's about all I have to say for July. We're moved in, we're getting settled, and um, yeah, everything else is going super great, I guess, as far as I can tell. Everything's excellent. Um, I am considering a PhD program. I know I made a video a few months ago that's like, why well, I'm not getting my PhD right now. Uh, but I'm considering something maybe like management, like more along the business side. I don't know, I just saw a program pop up online a few days ago and it started getting me thinking so right now that's a thought I'm having I mean I don't know by the next time I talk to you guys it may have been a thought that totally left my head so who knows I can't ever make up my mind about what I'm gonna do with my life I hope you guys are having a fantastic July I hope you had an awesome fourth I love the fourth of July it is my absolute most favorite time of the whole year um, so yeah, I hope you guys had an awesome time with that. We did like a cookout with our friends, like a whole weekend type kind of thing, like a big, I don't know, like camping cookout type thing. I guess that's really the only way to describe it. Super fun. Um, but yeah, I will see you guys in my next video. Hope you're doing great and I love you guys so much. Bye.